Hey everybody, how you doing? It's OCD Mikey Boy here with another episode of You're Gonna Listen to My Shit. Um, <laughs> um, it is today, what we're ha- what, what's happening is um, I'm gonna play a little music and then we're gonna change uh, a module on the crossover, uh, the, the, the active crossover, which is up here, um, to change up where the low pass is going to be for the uh, sub stacks for both of these guys. Um, even though they do have uh, amps, uh, plate amps here and there, and there's some crossover stuff there, we still really set the gate or the parameter of, of what can do right here. Um, and uh, so when I put this together the other day, I had to use some, uh, you know, modules that were on hand, whatever was closest to what I needed or what I wanted. And um, I did not have the proper resistor values to make what I wanted, but I subsequently I did. And so I made the new modules and uh, we're going to try a new, we're going to try actually, it's it's going to be both. It's going to be the low pass for these and the high pass for the panels. Um, uh, So we do both of them identical. Um, I have them at the same spot. I don't, I don't change that. And we're going to go from, a uh for from a 24 db slope at 80 hertz with the linkwitz riley to a 60 hertz with an 18 db slope and a bessel filter the bessel filter has a higher knee on it so it brings instead of getting dipping down right at the crossover point it's it's much uh it, it brings in it'll have more what i'm looking to do is kind of get a little bit more some a little bit more of the mid bass in there um i seem to have done it though already a little bit since last time we listened just by adjusting the um the uh the plate amps but so we're going to play something now i'll play it and then we'll listen we'll try this other the other modules see if 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 they work or if they don't but you can hear the difference that it makes so okay let's go <laughs> Okay, so if you're wondering what that is, that is the Great White Buffalo, sang by Billy Cody and the Boone Jugs. Uh, and uh, Great White Buffalo is the name of, I think it's the name of, the, it's, it's a single, so it's the name of the single. So I don't know if there's an album called that or not. Okay, so here's what's involved with this right here. Let's go over here and we will mute this, turn this off. So now our tubes are going to power down. Get this off here. And this is what modules look like. So you can see. See if you can see that how well. I don't know. Let me make sure that the focus is right. Focus, focus. Yeah, so um, that's what they look like. So I just find the value and then I just solder these puppies up. He's got a calculator. Like that, you just punch in what you want, and then it tells you what resistor and whatever. What ca- what um, I always use the same use the same caps, um, and then it's just you change out the resistor values and where they go. And some of them you put you put jumpers in, like you can see on the far right. There's that that pure silver jumper. Um, so that's what that's what um, these modules are. And uh, so I just pull these out from here. Uh, let's see. So 
So they're going to be brand new, spanking new. They might need a little break in. I don't know. We'll see. Usually they like to be run in. Stuff likes to be run in a little bit. On, I'll power up the tubes. See how we like it. It might be, you know, it might need a little tweaking because I had just finished tweaking everything else, the plate amps for that last for the 80 hertz uh, at with the 24 Linquist Riley. Um, and then I got that over here with the remote. So we'll see. We'll see how she sounds right off the cuff. Sometimes it's great off the cuff. Sometimes it's, you find out you had a cold solder joint or something. It's always fun. Um, so let's see, are you rolling? Yeah, you are. Okay. So let's see, we'll go on. Make sure she's off. Okay, let me try it. So, okay, yeah, you can tell, like, how, you know, the other one definitely had, well, it would, of course, have more bass because it's an 80 hertz uh, low pass and not a, not a 60. It had, you could hear more of that, of that kick drum and stuff. Um, this is, a, I think, a, a nicer, smoother bass, and we could give it a little, we could give it a little volume on the plates uh, if, if necessary, just to bring it up a little bit in amplitude, but I think it hits um, at a better spot because it's not as obtrusive into the rest of the music, you know? Um, so that would probably be the next adjustment that I'd do is give it a little teeny bit. Well, look, why don't I try this? Show you what I'm talking about. And again, this is just going off instinct. I'm not sure it might not be good, but... Try like three clicks on the thing. Just a little teeny trim on that. Everybody loves a little teeny trim. Um, okay, we'll try that. See how she sounds now. Let's see. Oh, see, too much. Just three little clicks. Damn, that was such a slight adjustment too. And that was totally, totally too much. So that was three clicks. I'm gonna go down two. And see if one little clicky poo gives us what we want. Or if it or if we had it perfect before, man. It just seems slightly, maybe it's because I was used to the. Let's see, okay. Okay, it might be. I'm gonna try it. Back where it was and just see, because that's borderline right there. It's borderline. 
stand out, you know. Might as well tell us this is where we were. Yeah. can tell it's like I, I just I'm used to the other thing hitting a little a little higher it hits lower it's still there it's just in a lower spot that dynamic kick you know um, so I'll see I'll play with it just leave it like this for a while and see how it sounds and see if uh, if we dig it or not so um that's that I have not put I took out that um the goon box just to uh, to, to put to listen to it without um, I'm going to wait until I get some long XLRs, like I said, and then I'll play with the Goombox a little bit more, but I'm just, I'm, I'm, it's not something that I'm, I get fired up about because it's, it's really just going off in left field. I'm not used to throwing a, you know, a, a coloration device in there just for the sake of coloring stuff up and seeing what we can come up with. You know, um, I really like kind of working with the virtues of the, of the components, um, and tubes, stuff like that. Um, you know, it might be fun to do um is roll some tubes in that aesthetics um DAC uh yeah I'll do that a different time I'll do that a different time I don't feel like doing it right now I feel like actually stopping this video and listening to some music because I haven't listened to music in a, in a while and I need to because I need to recharge all right so uh thanks for joining me and I'll see you